Hi, this is Tim Barrett with NoGeekLeftBehind.com and today we are going to back up a server and clone it to another server. And the server we're going to use in question is a Windows Multipoint Server 2011. The purpose of this is not for deployment, it's simply for a matter of demo. So that when you have a server and you mess it up or let people mess it up, when you're done you can wipe it and reload it the way it was before. So this is our server here and we're going to do this all in Hyper-V just because it's easier to uh, record the video that way. But this is our multi-point server in Hyper-V and you can see it's not uh, very beefy. We just gave it two gigs of RAM. Uh, no big deal there. The important thing is the disks. So we have one single disk which is 250 gigs and we've got a second one which we're going to use to hold our backups. And if you've ever looked at a Windows 7 install or a Server 2008 install you'll notice when you go to manage the server and you'll see the and the disk management there's actually a small partition on the C drive which is the little system reserved 100 meg partition and this rest of the 250 gig there so we're going to back both of these up and how we're going to do it is with shadow protect the shadow protect image is actually an ISO so you can take the ISO and burn it onto a CD and we're going to boot off of that disk and then use that to back up our system. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, in Hyper-V we're going to go to the DVD drive and insert an ISO. So I'll go down here to my pile of ISOs under StorageCraft and there's version 351 which is what I'm using for this demo. And we pop it in, you see it shows up there and it may autoplay. If it does we can cancel out of it. We're basically going to just shut the server down and boot off of it to copy all these files over to here. So let's shut down our server. Actually we can just restart it. And when it's done restarting it should grab that CD. And this is where because of the remote access it's going to get a little bit flaky because I'm going to be re uh, booting into the uh, Shadow Protect recovery environment which is like WinPE and it doesn't let me uh, use a mouse from a remote session so I'm going to have to use two mice here to look a little weird. So it's booting off of the drive and you notice we have a couple choices here. Uh, choice one is a Windows 7 environment so if you had Server 08 or Vista or Windows 7 you would choose that. If you had Server 2003 or XP you would choose the second one. So we'll choose the first and then it will come up and ask us in a moment uh, once it starts if we want networking or not and for this uh, we don't really need networking so here comes shadow protect we'll hit cancel on the networking and we have a wizard screen here so for the backup part we're just going to run the backup wizard here so we click in it to capture the mouse see how we have two mice there it's kind of weird so just pay attention to the bottom mouse. So this is our wizard. We just hit next. And it's going to ask us which volumes we want to back up. We want that 100 meg partition right there and we want the C drive. And you notice these drive letters are different. We don't care. So we'll hit next. We're going to do a full backup. It asks where we want it to go. We're going to browse over to that extra drive. And that drive, we gave it a pretty easy to, uh, to remember name. We called it image reload. So there it is. So that's where the drive's going to go. And uh, because these drive letters are uh, wrong, we're going to change these. So this is, first of all, I, uh, I typically use the name of the computer. So it'd be WMS 2011 underscore reserved. And that's my 100 partition. And then I'll do this WMS 2011. volume. There we go. And we hit next. Uh, we could encrypt it if we want because we want to um, restore this very quickly. We're not going to do any encryption and no advanced properties. Just next and finish. And you'll see it'll blow through this uh, first 100 meg almost instantly and it'll take it probably uh, maybe 10-12 minutes to do the rest of this drive. Uh, this multi-point server install is about 8 gigs. This was just a plain vanilla install without any uh, applications added on top of it. And it will do some um, compression 
We don't have encryption turned on, but it will do compression by default. So this will actually be about half that size on that second drive. It'll be about four gigs. So this will continue running, and when it's done, it'll just change to where this, instead of having a percent complete, will turn into a uh, check mark. This says completed, just like the other one, and when we're done with that, we will just go up and hit file and exit, and that is all there is to it. We'll be left with a uh, file on the other uh, hard drive that has our uh, two files. They're in an SPF format, which is Shadow Protect Full. And you can see the first one right here, um, WMS 2011 Reserved Volume SPF. And here's the second one it's creating right there. So those will be our two files. So after this is done, we'll go ahead and uh, start the video again on the restore process.